Today I want to talk about Bitwarden. Let me start off by saying I think it's a great password manager. I think it's a good option for a lot of people. I've been self-hosting it for the past two years, but there's one major feature missing that I think could screw over a lot of people, just like it screwed over me. So for the past two years, I've been hosting Bitwarden on a Raspberry Pi, along with a few other containers that I have. But recently I wanted to simplify and consolidate my setup, so I moved Bitwarden along with the other containers on my Raspberry Pi to an existing mini PC that I had sitting around. So I got the containers up and running on the new host. The next step was to restore the backups that I took. So everything went smoothly, restored the backups for the other containers, came to Bitwarden, restored the backup, everything was looking good. I signed into my other devices, made sure things were syncing up correctly, made sure all my passwords were there, perfect. So about a month later, everything was looking good. I decided to format the drive the Raspberry Pi was using. I deleted the backups that I had for it as well. And of course, Murphy's Law. I logged into my new Bitwarden instance to check on some documents I had uploaded there. And to my surprise, they were gone. Which this leads us to the major feature that Bitwarden is missing. And that is exporting attachments when you take a backup. So if we look here, this is just the cloud-hosted Bitwarden vault I have. You need to have one in order to get a license for the self-hosted subscription. That's why there's nothing in here except this test with attachment. If we go to export vault, you have a few options here, JSON, CSV, JSON encrypted. Let's just select JSON, confirm format, type in the master password, select export vault. So if we take a look at the export, which we can see here, the .json file, and I'll take blame for this. There's a lot of red flags that I should have realized, but I was kind of just doing things casually, so I didn't really check it too much. But if we look here, we can see the size, 636 bytes. In the test entry that you saw, I uploaded a 40 megabyte attachment. Therefore, this is way too small to be included. This is also a JSON file. So it's very unlikely that they would have encoded all the attachments and put them all in the JSON file. It's just not a feasible option. There's no additional folders for attachments. There's just a single, tiny JSON file. So like I said, there's red flags. Should have realized that, but I didn't. If you look on the export vault page here, there's nothing warning about attachments not being included. So I think this is a mistake that a lot of people could make, think that they are backing up everything, but in reality, they're not. Needless to say, but I lost backups of SSH keys, important documents I was storing there, photos of identification documents I was keeping there because you're supposed to store them in a secure manner. And what better place in your password vault Without my backups and everything else, I lost that data, which is also another story about backups that I'll share in a future video. But besides the red flags that you're supposed to notice on this backup, apparently, there's nothing warning you in the interface. There's nothing on any of these entries. The only place there is a warning that I found was on the export vault help document. If we look here, there's a line vault exports will not include bolded file attachments, items in the trash or sends. So I guess they're telling you that they're not included, but again, for something so important like that, I think that should be a little more prominent in the interface. They have no problem including warnings on other parts of the application. If we go to the security tab, we can see here, change master password. Again, a warning, yellow, highlighted. Two-step login, warning, yellow, highlighted. As you can imagine, I was pretty annoyed when I realized I lost all those attachments. So I started searching around to see if I was the only one that had this complaint. There was a hacker news thread about the same thing. Bitwarden does not export attachments and backups. It linked to where it was raised in a community issue on Bitwarden as a feature request back in May 2018. I know at this point it just sounds like I'm complaining, but to me this is a basic feature of a cloud app that expects you to store your most important information in it. And even though it's stored on someone else's computer, you should still have local backups. Their servers could crash, they could go out of business tomorrow, the data could get erased, their backups could be corrupted. You don't know what could happen and you always want to make sure you have a copy of that data. So even though this feature request has been sitting there for six years, it still has not been implemented yet. Someone also brought up in this thread that the project's open source, maybe send them a pull request, which is a fair point. You know, maybe create that feature, submit it. Of course, there's no guarantee it'll be accepted by them. But file attachments are a paid feature, which means you're already paying for the product at this point. So yes, you could create the feature and submit it. But I don't know, I'm going off on a tangent at this point. All this to say that if you are going to continue using attachments in Bitwarden or are thinking about using them, I would reconsider or make sure that you save a local copy whenever you upload one. I might use this as an excuse to finally test out KeyPass and see how that works for me. 
But with all that being said, I hope this can save someone from losing all their attachments in Bitwarden. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below, and I'll see you next time.